Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to go through the process that I used to build my own DIY rocker plate for Zwifting. Uh, now the reason that I decided to do this was because I didn't have a spare 500-600 pounds to spend on a rocker plate um, and due to the fact that I'm riding quite a lot indoors at the moment I thought it would be a good idea to try and get the, the sort of most natural outdoor feel as I possibly could and apparently rocker plates are meant to be good for that so in this video I'll talk you through what exactly I did to to build the rocker plate uh, the equipment used and how much it roughly costs so hope you enjoy the video please give me a like if it's something that you're interested in or subscribe if uh, if you want so I've initially listed the tools that you'll need in order to complete this project. If you're doing this to save money, then I suggest you already have the tools or you're able to borrow them. Otherwise, buying all of these might make it quite expensive. Coming on to the first job lot of equipment, um, yoga mat, which is optional, uh, springs, D-rings, bolts, wood screws, depending on the actual thickness of the wood that you're gonna get. What I would recommend is using plywood or MDF. Um, I managed to get mine 20 millimeters thick and a couple of inflatable balls you'll need um, to make it work. Um, you'll also need a linear rod um, and some bearing blocks as demonstrated here by myself. Um, got those from eBay, link in the description. Okay, so first things first, I marked out on the actual um, wood my shape, uh, the design, and then I attached this um, piece of MDF uh, first and then the linear rod to that piece of wood making sure it was all central. As you can see in that picture, it's not central, but I can guarantee you it was. Now I actually find this bit uh, the most difficult. It was lining the bearing blocks up with the lineal rod. Um, and to do that, um, I had to make a template made out of paper and just make sure sort of the holes that I would drill in all lined up so that I could then fit the bearing blocks on the lineal rod and it would be all straight. I then attached the D-rings, as you can see there, um, to, to that side and then sort of the opposite side. You'll see where I mean in just a second, um, just so you can attach the springs. So after that, I actually cut the wood to the, uh, the shape that I wanted and then ended up putting these little stopper blocks on the end. Um, that's just so that when you are riding, uh, it doesn't, the, the bearing blocks don't, you know, fall off the end. After that, I painted it. Um, uh, and that's the good thing about this, you can sort of paint it to your own sort of style. Um, I would say just make sure you put the, the bearing blocks on before you put the stopping plates on, um, otherwise you won't be able to get them on without taking the blocks off the end. Um, and then just to show you an example of where the spring goes, so the spring will go from the right D-ring here, across and up onto the other board of wood on that side and vice versa for the other side of the actual wood itself. Um, after that, I then put the the, the mats on. Uh, that's just because that was the, the look that I desired and then cut a hole for the kicker cable, which went through nicely there, just hides all of that away. Glued that down and then, yeah, sat the kicker on it just to see um, what it was like, whether, well, it, it did fit obviously, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what it would look like. And then, yeah, one final bit, you just need to put the, the ball um, under that side and the other side and then inflate it to your desired pressure and there you have it really simple really uh, inexpensive 160 pounds it costs in terms of the materials uh, but for me it's definitely worth it i mean these kind of rocker plates go up to you know anything from between you know 300 and 500 for this type of movement i know you can get them cheaper if you just want sort of the left to right movement but I'm happy with this and it was um, nice to sort of keep the, the mind occupied over the, the Christmas period and it really has um, sort of benefited me in terms of the, the comfort now when I'm riding indoors. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you've uh, got any questions specifically about the build or where I got any of the materials from, I'll be happy to answer them. But thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.